Hey everybody, Michael here again. Well, if you saw my last video about my Xtool M1, you'll know that I had a fire inside of it. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, go up here, check it out, and then come right back. So after that fire, I needed to clean out my M1 just to make sure there wasn't damaged and um, we'll just give it a once over. So what I'm gonna do with you today is share with you how I cleaned out my M1. And you're only gonna need a few items to get that done. You're gonna need some Q-tips. You're going to need either a microfiber cloth or a nice paper towel. This is actually a shop cloth. This is really soft. I would not recommend using the cheap paper towels because they're rough, almost like sandpaper. Um, just get a little bit higher quality one. And then the last thing you're gonna need is some isopropyl alcohol. So let me flip the camera around and zoom in here and show you how I clean the M1. Okay, so here's my M1. Let me open this up. And as you know, or you're familiar with the M1, when it's finished cutting or engraving, the laser head sits back here on the back left. And so what I wanna do is stand it up on this side so that the laser head doesn't slide across when I lift it up. Before I do that, I'm gonna take the bottom out. On my base, I do not use the screws on there because I'm always taking it in and out. So all I have to do is take my hand and push in the bottom and I can grab it from the inside and lift it up and out of the way. So the base is out of the way. I'll clean that in a minute. Now that that's out of the way, let me close the lid and I'm gonna again lift it up on the side where the laser head is at. Let me show you what it looks like on the bottom. All right, here's the underside. Now you can grab the gantry and slide it out. With it unplugged, powered off, the gantry actually moves and there's no motors fighting you. Just carefully pull it out and you have access to the laser head and everything else around it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have your isopropyl alcohol and you can take a Q-tip and wet it and you can clean the laser head. Let me zoom in and show you that. All right, this is the bottom of the laser cutter head. You can take the cutter portion out of it and just pull on it. There's magnets inside holding this part out in there. So you can just pull that out of the way and right there is your laser head. So you can take your Q-tip, put a little bit of alcohol on it, and just kind of clean the, the glass of the head. Now you don't want it dripping or anything, but you want enough on there to where you can actually kind of rub it and kind of spin the, the tip and then flip it around to a dry side and then dry it off. Okay, so the laser head's cleaned. Now I'm going to put a little bit more and just start wiping everything down. Just making sure there's no uh, debris or something on there that uh, impurities. Just start wiping everything down. Now be careful with this metal rod right here. There's a metal rod on this side and on the top side when you're looking down from the top. That's actually what this laser head slides on. You see these guides, these are little wheels that roll on it. So you'll want to make sure this stays clean, but you don't want to mess it up. So you can take this rag and you can wipe it down. If you do that, you'll need to re-lubricate that. And you can use any type of light oil or grease. Also, to get to the other side, you can lift this up a little bit. And you can just kind of wipe around the bottom. You can do this from the top if it's easier. I find it easier from the bottom just because it's closer to me. And I'm just wiping it all down, make sure there's no impurities in there. And don't let go. You want to set it down easy so that way it just drops. And you can take this and wipe all around the inside. Over here on the right, you can see this exhaust fan and the lens for the camera. You can also take your rag, clean everything off from underneath. Be careful of the fan. If you really want to get into it and clean this really well, there's actually some access screws in here that you can take this whole plastic piece off. I'm not going to do that deep of a cleanse. 
but if you want to you can actually use that to clean up in there um, this main circuit board is behind this cameras here of course and your exhaust fan now that done underneath you can open it up and clean the inside of it um, the portion that you could not reach before from the bottom you can now reach from the top just again be careful moving the gantry forward and back or the laser head left and right you don't want to do it too fast or too aggressive because you don't want to break anything and lastly we're going to clean the, the top so again use a microfiber cloth if possible and you want to hold the lid don't push against the hinges otherwise you might break it and just do small circular motion and get it all nice and clean flip your towel over to the dry side and let it dry or you can just let it air dry because this alcohol evaporates really quickly i also wipe down the rubber with the dry side of the cloth just to make sure there's no dust on there so on the prisms that come with the m1 you can use the same alcohol to clean them with because a lot of times you'll get residue on there and you just have to rub it off and it comes off pretty easy as long as you stay on top of it and clean these regularly that way they don't get all gummed up and you set them aside and let them dry and just repeat that on all of them also don't forget to clean your base you can clean it inside the machine or outside since I had it outside, it makes it easier to clean it this way. Now that that's clean, I can put it back in. And I'll be all finished up, ready for the next project. And just to show you how dirty the prisms get, take a look at that. That's pretty gross. So um, you got to clean them regularly. Otherwise, it's just going to build up over time. So I want to say thank you all for, for watching. Um, I've had a lot of feedback from these videos in the the M1 group on Facebook. Uh, a lot of feedback uh, in a good way. So I appreciate everybody. Thanks for leaving your comments and thanks for following along on my journey. Um, one of these days I'm going to get to engraving metal, but I'm having too much fun with the wood part of the engraving. So hopefully, no promises, but maybe in the next video I will engrave some metal. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click the link below and subscribe. Who knows what's going to come next? It could be metal engraving. It could be another wood project. I don't know. Anyway, appreciate you watching. I'll see you all next time.